I don't know what I would have done. Let me know what you guys would have done in the comments. So the item is damaged and missing parts and it's still sold for $100. This one's pretty interesting. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about June 2023 bolos. These bolos were shared from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this. And this is the post that I popped up. And basically, everybody in the group is invited to share their bolo. What they have to do is tell me where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And they can tell me uh, if they took a best offer, what that best offer was, if it sold on auction, which platform it sold on. All platforms are welcome and everybody is welcome to share. So join the Facebook group and come share a bolo. Uh, these are just, I love these videos because I learn so much every single video. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And let's get started with the first bolo. This one's pretty interesting. Four 20 ounce bottles of Sierra Mist discontinued. We had a, so much fun sourcing these after Pepsi announced they were no longer manufacturing Sierra Mist and that Starry was not the same flavor, just rebranded. We took the kids out one afternoon to our local gas stations and grocery stores, buying up what was left on the shelves. We would make predictions at each stop on how many we would find. The buyer was all in at $44 for a set of four 20 ounce bottles after shipping. We had $4.77 in them after, after tax. Carbonation tax? What's carbonation tax? We have sold numerous two liters, 20 ounces, and even mini cans so far. Definitely a bolo and actually very easy to ship. Just package tightly and slap a fragile liquid sticker on top and send it. This is what it looks like. It says Sierra Mist 20 ounce bottles, bundle of four, new sealed, same day shipping. $27.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So shipping is a little high. So it looks like they were all in for $44 for four bottles of Sierra discontinued mist. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Would you do that? Worth it? Not worth it? Sold this African tribal mask for $80 on Poshmark today. Bought a box of eight masks for $20 at a local auction. African tribal mask, wooden hand carved African mask, multicolored. That is absolutely beautiful. So it is hand carved. So somebody probably really uh, took some time and effort into making that. And it is incredible. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Starting out June's curbside deals strong. Walking around the block last night with my wife, we passed the house that has been, been getting work done on it, including putting in central heat and air. There are two air conditioning window units on the curb that look to be in very nice shape. I picked them up and within 10 minutes sold one for 70 to my next door neighbor. <laughs> The other one was listed on Facebook Marketplace and sold within 24 hours for $60. That gold is out there, people. Can anybody guess who this came from? Who is our curbside picker? Jerry, Jersey Shore thrifter. He found another bolo sitting on the side of the road. The man is a genius. All right. I always hit the, I should give his wife credit too, because it sounds like they were sourcing those together. I always hit the books at estate sales. I find other buyers usually pass by them and the dealers are only too happy to get rid of them. Such was the case here. I got two boxes of books for under $10, two sales, and I'm already deep into profit sold for $129. This is what it looks like. Built to grind 25 years of hardcore skateboarding, independent trunk truck. <laughs> First edition. Oh boy. Bought for 99 cents at the Goodwill. Sold in five minutes on Mercari. Listed for 300. Sold for 275. Manhattan Toy Company. Blue Tyrannosaurus Rex. Vintage 1984 
rare. And I featured this guy in my Manhattan Toy Bolo category video, so definitely go check that out. I found this figure at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents. The figure is from a Columbia Pictures movie, Sinbad. It is missing the swords. Every hand is supposed to hold a sword and is also broken off its platform. I found it this way and sold it for $100 plus shipping. So the item is damaged and missing parts and it still sold for $100. Columbia Pictures Industries, Cali, The Golden Voyage, of Sinbad, 11 inch action figure. This one was sold by Flippin' It Good. This is his YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub him up. He is a Bolo Buddies member, which means he has joined memberships for perks. There is more information about that in the description of the video. If you would like a shout out of your, uh, a pop-up of your YouTube channel or eBay store and a link down in the description, you can join perks at level two. This one also comes from Flippin' It Good. And he said, I found this DVD set at a yard sale for $5. It sold after two days of being listed. I sent offer to watchers and was accepted. It sold for $100 plus shipping. Clint Eastwood 20 film collection, Blu-ray 2013 set with book, 22 disc tested. Does that mean he watched the whole thing? Did he watch the whole thing? 22 discs. That would be a long, long video. Um, I found these at my local IFA country store. They were running sales on Western boots. I paid 50 and, ha and have a few scratches from people trying the boots. I used leather conditioner to get rid of the scuff. They sold for 200 plus shipping. So um, Flippin' It Good does a lot of retail arbitrage. A lot of times he goes to like Burlington Coat Factory, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all of those different places. He's also bought Lost Cargo Palettes. You can check out more about that on his YouTube channel. These are Tony Llama Western boots, size eight and a half, and this is what they look like. We bought these soup bowls for $6 at an estate sale. They sold for full asking price in a few days. They are Fishes, Eddie, Pantone, Universe, Various Colors, Band, Six Rim Soup Bowls, Sight, Cyprus, Syracuse. <laughs> hey, I got it, guys. I got it. Syracuse, and it says China. I think that's Sarah. Am I saying that right? I don't even know. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Bolo. All right. This one is. Oh, this one was bought from my whatnot. Um, yay! So I have a whatnot. I don't know. I. It's not a channel. I'm on the Whatnot app and I sell live. I have live shows over on Whatnot. There we go. And I've been doing a lot of jewelry lately and I really, really am enjoying it because I don't know a lot about jewelry and I'm really bad with titles. So um, if I can't Google Lens it and do sell similar, I really, really st struggle with keywords. So this one, I probably could have come up with a good title, but what I've decided is that I really want to bring my awesome jewelry over to Whatnot for you guys to buy. So that's what I did with this piece. It is a Joan Rivers watch and bracelet set in the case. It was stunning. And I knew Joan Rivers is typically a bolo. So if you guys find anything Joan Rivers, definitely look it up. I started this, I believe at $5. She said, I purchased it for $34.89 shipping and fee included. Sold for auction on eBay at $196.18. After fees and shipping was $167.12. After all said and done, she made $132.23. She said, this was my first eBay auction experience. I don't know if she meant eBay auction or whatnot auction, but either way, thank you so much for coming over and hanging out at my whatnot show. Thank you for supporting the channel and just, Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it so much. Anybody that has bought anything from me on Whatnot, and if it has been a bolo for you, I would love for you guys to share it under the June post. Or I also have a post that looks like this that says, share your best Whatnot bolo. So something you bought on Whatnot and flipped for a profit. It doesn't have to be from me. Um, so both of those posts are up right now. So go and share a bolo. 
And again, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And it doesn't have to be a bolo from me. It can be from anybody on Whatnot, you guys. And if you're not on Whatnot, there is a link down below. You can join and get $15 to shop. That is free money. So just try it. You're going to love it. It's super, super fun. Come watch me. You don't have to buy anything. Just come hang out. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, I have a link down below. It's also a referral link. And when you use that, it will tell Whatnot that I referred you and you may be more likely to get accepted quicker. Uh, Whatnot does have a marketplace also, so you can sell things in a buy it now section. And I just think that that's gonna be expanding so much in the near future. But uh, I'm loving the online auction portion of it because I'm live and I can chit chat with you guys. So come on over and see me. Um, and again, thank you to everybody that has come over because there have been so many of you that have come. I am just overwhelmed with the support and um, I, I, I just can't even thank you enough. So thank you. It was definitely a shock at how, how supportive everyone was. I just, I can't believe it. So thank you. I know I'm saying thank you a lot, but really it just means a lot to me. All right. This one comes from She Picker. She is two sister pickers on eBay. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. She said, I purchased this Amish handmade stickly sofa for 120 at an estate sale. It was the last couple hours and it was an everything has to go sale. By the end, the estate company was practically giving things away. The value of the sofa is between 2,500 and 3,000. I had it listed on Facebook Marketplace for about four months. Put it on sale for $1,800 and it sold within a week. The buyer lo lives in California and arranged for a moving company to come pick it up. Wow. It's a stickly handmade wood sofa couch Amish made from 1998. Oh, original fabric. How awesome is that? And she picker is pretty new. Her and her sister do this together. So that is awesome. She is... She pick her across all platforms except eBay. She's two sister pickers there. And I will link her down in the description. She is also going to be on Whatnot. So follow her over there. It's she underscore picker. She hasn't had a show yet, but she is planning to do one soon. So I bought these teacher's manuals at a Goodwill for $1.69 each. They are building block 3D science books. I listed them for 100 each. I bought a total of 14 of them. I listed each for $100 sold three to the same buyers for 75 each. Wow, she is kicking booty. Kicking booty? Kicking booty. I guess she's kicking booty. Um, anyway, that one comes from She Picker also. I can't believe I just said kicking booty. <laughs> what? What am I talking about? Hi, Courtney. I sold a Walt Disney World Figment light switch cover for a best offer of $63. Figment is the character on it. The light switch cover is from 1982 and hard to find. I found it at the Goodwill bin, so I had about 25 cents into it, super lightweight, had it listed for about four months. It did not take up a lot of room, so I just sat on it and waited for the right buyer. Thank you so much for all you do and all the information shared. Big high fives to everyone on their finds. And this is what it looks like, and it looks like it sold on Poshmark. All right, this one comes from Black Dog Vintage, and this is her YouTube channel. She said, I actually sold miniature Limoges tea sets and two miniature vases signed GF in two separate auctions. One went for $159.06 and $108.56. The buyer was in Canada, and I could not combine shipping for him, so I canceled the auctions and did a buy it now for him, and he purchased them this way. Yes, I've had to do that also. She said, I bought a lot of miniature tea sets and porcelain items in an auction for a final bid of $9. The items that the person won was only part of the lot that I won. Dollhouse miniatures can be quite collectible. Don't pass them by. This is what it looks like. So 264.62 miniature tea sets. Yes, awesome. Dollhouse in the title. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nina's Jewels. And that is YouTube and eBay for her. She said, we bought this from our neighbor's garage sale for $15. Sold for full asking price of $89.99. We always pick up Thule, T-H-U-L-E, items. They flip fast. It is a rooftop cargo bag carrier. And this is what it looks like. 
first time sharing, this is one of two, found this beaded bag at the bins that actually had a small section of beads missing on the back. Comps were showing anywhere between 20 to 45 on the brand. I listed at 50 and it sold in less than three hours on Poshmark. Wow, that's awesome. And this is what it looks like. So she listed it high. You know, sometimes you can get more on Poshmark. This is my second. The day I found and listed the eight pound book at the bins, one sold for $149.99. I always send offers, so I tried listing higher. At first, I sold sold offers at 140. Oh, sent offers at 140. No one was buying, but I did get a lot of likes, so I started sending offers for 120. My goal was obviously to flip it as fast as possible. Within three weeks, I got an offer of 85. I was scared to counter because I didn't want to lose the sale. I decided I wouldn't take less than 100. The buyer paid immediately. So it looks like she sold it for a hundred. It is a vintage Black's Law Dictionary revised fourth edition 1968 hardcover. And it's an eight pound book. So whatever it is for weight at her Goodwill bins. My son found this. He's my thrifting partner. Paid $3.99 at the Goodwill. Started it at auction at $300. Had a few offers. I accepted an offer of $500 plus shipping within two hours. <gasps> would you guys have let the auction ride or would you have accepted the $500 offer? Eek! I don't know what I would have done. That's so hard because she had it up for auction at 300. Within two hours had an offer of 500. So she could have declined the 500 and let the auction ride. At this point, she had no bids or she could accept it and she accepted it. <sighs> I don't know what I would have done. Let me know what you guys would have done in the comments. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. She said, I bought a shoebox full of postcards at a yard sale for a few dollars. I have about 10 cents into this lot. I made a buyer for, or I made for the buyer and it sold for $200. So she must have had maybe single listings and somebody asked her to create a bundle. This is what it looks like. It's Lake Tahoe, 13 antique postcards, sold for $200. And again, this comes from Childhood Finds. And I just, not too long ago, featured her eBay store in a featured Bolo video of just her sold items. You guys can check that out. This is what the video looks like, and I will link it down below. She is a Bolo finder. She is a wealth of knowledge. Go and subscribe to her. We're trying to get her to a thousand subscribers. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which Bolo was your favorite. And there's going to be more videos like this coming soon. This is the first one of June. Go check out all of the May and all of the months before. Uh, this is a series. There is an entire playlist of these and you learn so much. And I would love for you guys to come over to the Facebook group and share your best bolo of the month. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.